Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for to make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. When Ivan and his wife got into a serious traffic accident with his car, their son Maxim was still seven years old. The accident took his mother's life while well, Ivan became disabled, and this made his life very complicated as he was no longer able to go to the market to sell vegetables and fruits there. Ivan is ready to do anything to educate his son and make him a successful young man in the future. For his part, Maxim was aware that his father was physically disabled and could not work, so he refused to ask him to buy clothes, toys, and other things that his peers wanted. The boy was suffering from bullying from his classmates. They laughed at him because he was poor. As they noticed that the boy always came to study with the same clothes, and at the end of the week they became dirty, so he washes them himself and puts them back on at the beginning of the week. Although Maxim was watching his classmates change their clothes every day and come to school with the most delicious sweets, cakes, and nuts, he didn't care about that, realizing that his father couldn't provide those things. The students named Maxim the Homeless, and they started to gather around him in the schoolyard and say sarcastic words to him. No one would stand by him and ask these children to stop disturbing him. Even the teachers didn't try to forbid the students from harassing the boy, even though they realized that he was poor. The headmaster and teachers did not care about Maxim because his father didn't attend the parents' meetings. The latter spends all his time abroad looking for a way to earn money to feed his son. This is why they don't care about the child and consider him as if he's not in school, despite his good results. They did not realize that his father was disabled, and they thought that he was marginalizing him and not caring about him. Ivan used to go out to the market every day in his wheelchair and sell seeds of grains, but that earned him very little money. Therefore, at the end of the day, he collects the cardboard boxes and sells them to a factory in town that recycle the paper. His son Maxim helps him, and he leaves school and goes to the market with his father, and together they go wandering the city streets and collect cardboard and papers in order to earn more money. When Maxim entered the ninth grade, he was doing well in school. But one day, he came home depressed and told his father that the sports teacher had kicked him out of the hall because he didn't have a tracksuit. Then the father felt a great regret, sat in his room, and kept crying there. The man suddenly remembered that he had a tracksuit in his closet, which he'd been keeping for years. When he took it out of the closet, he looked at it. He's well aware that it doesn't keep pace with the current fashion because it's old, and it'll cause his son to embarrass him with his colleagues. However, he didn't want his son to be expelled from sports, again, because this would affect his school results. Ivan called his son and asked him to try on that suit. The boy got tall, so the suit fit him, and it was wide and made him look funny. Ivan pretended that the suit fit his son a lot and asked him to wear it for the next class. When the time for the sport class came, the boy put on the sport suit that his father gave him and went to school. And as soon as his classmates saw him, they gathered around him and kept laughing and mocking him. Then Maxim entered the gym right away because he realized that the sports professor was a very strict man and all the pupils feared him. So they'd stop laughing when they stood in front of him. When a sports professor noticed the suit that Maxim was wearing, he was surprised at first because he had a suit like it years ago. So he approached the boy and asked him where he brought it. Then Maxim told him his father gave it to him. The man realized that the boy might be poor and didn't find money to buy a suit, so he tried to pretend that the suit was normal and kept looking at the students sternly so they'd not laugh at the boy. When Maxim came home in the evening, he found his father waiting for him, eager to know what the sports session was. Then the boy smiled at his father and told him that everything was fine. In addition, he refused to tell him that his colleagues mocked him, as he realizes that this is the most that his father can offer, so he didn't want his father to feel guilty and pretended that everything was fine. The boy never told his father that he didn't have friends at school and that they made fun of him in his clothes because he realizes that that will hurt him a lot. This is why he pretends that everything's going well when his father asks him about studying. Ivan believed his son's words because he noticed that his academic results were excellent and he was one of the best students. The boy passed final exams with high results until the graduation party, which is the party that everyone's waiting for. From teachers, students, parents, the principal, and school workers, this is why students buy new uniforms. Maxim was well aware that he could not buy a new suit, and he decided not to tell his father about the party 
so he kept thinking about how to get it. The boy went to his father's wardrobe and stayed there between his old clothes, and there he found a black suit that Ivan had kept since his wedding party. He wore it that day and then hid it in the closet and didn't wear it after that. The suit was beautiful, but it didn't keep up with fashion. People stopped wearing it several years ago, but Maxim had no choice and decided to wear it on the day of the graduation party. Before the party, the parents of the students gathered to plan and organize it, as they wanted it to be a luxurious party and be enjoyed by all, so that it would remain a memory in the children preparing to enter university. The director asked Maxim to attend the meeting on behalf of his father, so the boy had to attend among a large number of parents. During the meeting, a woman dressed in elegant clothes and carrying a valuable phone in her hand told Maxim that the parents of the students would collect a large sum of money to organize a party for their children and she realizes that he will not be able to contribute that amount, just as he does not even have the suit with which to attend the party, so she advised him not to come. Especially since a professional photographer will photograph the party is why all parents want the party to be beautiful and not show students wearing worn clothes. Meanwhile, the boy stood in his place and told that woman that he would not attend the graduation party. Then he left the hall quietly. Then the parents of the students in the hall laughed and continued talking about the details of the party and expressing their opinions in order to be successful. The boy decided not to attend that party because his presence there would disturb everyone, and he waited for the end of the school session, and then he went to get his diploma, after which he completely disappeared from view. After ten years of graduating that class, the principal decided to cooperate with the youth who were studying in the Maxim class and those who became all working in that city to organize a party in honor of that batch, where they booked an upscale restaurant in the city and communicated with each other through messages on social networking sites. In addition, they set the day to meet in that restaurant and celebrate ten years since graduation. The young people found each other, and only Maxim was left who was out of sight, so they kept wondering about him and laughing. They agreed that he might be begging in another city, as he and his father used to do when he was studying with them at school. Everyone laughed when they remembered the boy and wanted to see him laughing again. On the day the party scheduled to be held, all young people gathered in front of the restaurant door, all wearing elegant clothes. In addition, some of them brought parents with them, and that woman who insulted Maxim and advised him not to come to the graduation party was present with her daughter. Meanwhile, a large vehicle arrived and stopped at the door of the restaurant, and two men got out of it, then began to take out tightly closed boxes. The number of boxes was large. Each box carried a gift named with attendees. This was what surprised everyone, and they were all eager to know who sent those packages and what was in them. When the attendees finished eating their lunch and remembered the beautiful days they spent together in school, especially the graduation party, which was wonderful, the two men who got off the vehicle began to separate them from the sealed boxes, which were gifts. Young people opened those boxes and were surprised when they found valuable gifts in them some containing beautiful shirts, some containing thin leather bags, others containing ties and luxurious dresses. Everyone was happy with the gift that he found in his box, and every one of them showed his gift to the other and was proud of it. And in the meantime, they began to wonder about the person who sent those gifts in order to thank him. The woman who insulted Maxim, whose name is Larissa, found a beautiful dress in the box on which her name was written, and she was very happy about it. Because she did not buy a new dress for a while, and her financial conditions have become difficult. Because her businessman husband abandoned her and her daughter after he discovered that she was cheating on him, and he left them to live in the old, worn-out apartment in extreme poverty, so she became a cleaner. When Larissa stretched the dress to measure and know what her daughter thought, a newspaper fell from the center of the dress to the floor. When the woman picked it up, she saw a photo of the person on the cover. She was shocked and asked her daughter to look at the photo. There were two pictures of Maxim on the front page of that newspaper, one of him as a student and one of him a successful businessman. It turns out that that fancy restaurant is the property of Maxim, and he owns many other stores, and when he learned that graduates from the school in which he studied would organize a party in one of his luxurious restaurants that he recently opened in the city in which he was born. He tried to know who they were exactly and was very happy when he learned that they were the graduates of his class so he decided to give them a lesson they'd never forget. Everyone saw the story of Maxim that was written in that newspaper, and they all felt very shy because they insulted him so much, and they thought that he'd always be a vagrant. But the young man is, in fact, studied at College of Commerce at the university and started working in a store, 
and he and his handicapped father lived in a small apartment that he rented. After graduation, he opened a small business and succeeded in it. Then he continued expanding his business until he became one of the most famous businessmen in that city, bought a new house, got married, and became famous. The end of the party was not as happy as it was waiting for. All of them felt ashamed and returned to their homes, thinking of the young man who returned them the favor in his own way. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.